Before showing you an interesting table, once in the Torah, Iran, Amalekite, let us see the fresh news of today. This is what is written. Iran has test fired another two ballistic missiles. It says are capable of hitting Israel. Now, as it is known, they also even wrote in Hebrew that these missiles which can reach Israel Really? This is what they want? To wipe out Israel with these missiles? Yeah, clearly. Now it is interesting that it came just before Purim, exactly like Haman. At that time, today is Amani, but at that time was Haman exactly the same thing. Also, Hamelakite want to destroy Israel, wipe out Jews. Now we are exactly the same time. The Torah tells us definitely there is Amalekite. Unfortunately, we lost because their power is because of the sins of Israel. Unfortunately, it's written, the Torah says, when you desecrate the Shabbat, when, unfortunately, we are doing impure things, the Torah says, Amalek HaShel Kacha Baderach. In the desert, they attacked Israel because they did not keep Shabbat, and we know the story. Unfortunately, why they come? Also because there's no trust in God. This is why Amalekite, this is what the Torah says. Okay, so Amalekites still exist, and just the beginning of Adar, now this month, the month of Purim, exactly they came to remind us that still Amalek is here, and in order to get rid of them, we have to do like you did in Purim, in that time, united, fasting, repenting, this is the only way to fight with this evil people. Now let us see the table. So once in the Torah we have here Iran Amaleki. Iran Amalekite. Amazing. Coming here once in the Torah. And also this year, maybe because of this threat, this year that they have this missile, we can reach Israel 2,000 kilometers. Now what is also interesting that they tell us that this table tells these people are they are really building, creating atom in the ideology of the Islam, which come really clearly here. Now looking more into it, we see really the months of Adar where we are now, exactly like in, at that time, Haman was happy that his lot came, the lottery came to these months. Now today we have a money, usually what a money is Aleph, but today we have a money like Haman there. Unfortunately, then comes the most important thing. Is at that time, the idea of the Amalekites, the threat of Ammon at that time, Amalekites was to bring Israel to do tshuva. Ase, do teshuva, do repentance. Because you have here the same thing as Sorer, the Sorer is the oppressor. Your man was called a Sorer, Sorer a Yehudim. Is a snake, and this is a tzorer, yeah, tzorer to Israel. This is what it is, to exactly like at that time, this time, also Philistine coming, because apparently the Philistines and also come to Kabbalah to do with Amalek, they want to destroy Israel. We see what they are doing today, stabbing and killing. Now you come, Iran, Amalekat, or you have differently, but the most important thing, you have also the Arabs, Arabim, but the most important thing, that you have Mashiach in a small skip here, and this year, Tavshina and Vav, as always we mention, which our Rabbi said at the time, which is suitable for Mashiach, if Chas Rishon Jews don't do repentance, don't repent, they're still desecrating the Shabbat, seeing they are contemplating the places like the wailing wall and so on. So Chas Rishon, instead of Mashiach, then we have the Iran Amalek. You have the danger of extermination. Like it was the Holocaust, the same thing. The time of Holocaust was a date. It's called the Bilna Goen, but Shem Tov was the time appropriate for Messiah. But because of the simulation, because of the reform, defiling the Torah, unfortunately, it turned to be Holocaust. So amazingly, that you have Iran Amalek, and we have really the Mashiach Ephraim. You know, the Mashiach will fight against this evil force, is Mashiach of Ephraim, from the sons of Joseph, which come here, the sons of Joseph. Amazingly, all this come. Now we have here also the evil forces, heavenly angel of the Amalekites, Samael, come here, 
Angelili, it's amazing, it's telling us clearly that the root, the source of all the troubles that we have today with these enemies that we have, the Philistines, the Arabim, also the Arabs come here, yeah? all are to do with the Amalekite. Am Amalek come to Kabbalah, Amalek comes from Amlak, a nation want to destroy, to lick the blood of Jews, you see what the Arabs really want, but the Philistines and Iran, Hezbollah, all of them together. Now, the only solution, as we said, the Torah tells us, Tshuva, do repentance, then you get read from this Hatsorer, from the oppressor, his money, from Iran, Amalekite, and only then we have Mashiach coming and save us from all these terrible situations that we have today. So very important and relevant table to our time, especially that these missiles, the two missiles, came exactly telling us the month of Adar, with the coming of Adar, to tell us what is Adar, to do with Purim, this is exactly the time that come to tell us, this is the time for you to do Tshuva, to repent, to become united, like at the time of Purim, because this is the only way to get rid, to be delivered and rescued from all those enemies who want to destroy Israel.